outdoor play spaces give children the opportunity to really be wild in the wild. Some programs are really just, you know, kind of letting it flow, letting them explore. It's a great resource to have, so just hang on to it. It certainly makes living in Duluth a, a unique and, and more fulfilling um, experience. I think one of the best things about the Hartley Nature Center is just the ability to lose yourself in so many different fashions in the same area. Uh, it, it loops around, you can go out there a hundred times and never take the same track. Regardless of what kind of recreation you enjoy, there's something for everyone there. From early childhood programming during the week where parents and children can come, all the way to canoeing, cross-country skiing in the winter, mountain biking, or just hiking and enjoying an afternoon. And you can kind of choose your own adventure. So there are different levels of each of those um, kind of recreation. If you want to just go for a nice stroll, you don't have to go um, on much terrain, but you can go all the way up to mountain biking, which is a little more challenging. It's got some of the best uh, exciting, challenging uh, single track around. Um, it's, it's also great, again, just because it's so close to downtown. Uh, it's very convenient for anybody, especially anybody who's moved to the city, because that's what they want. Uh, I know I might moved back north myself just because I knew that I missed the woods. Uh, so it's great having something that close. I think that word accessible is probably the most important. I think um, there's a lot of beautiful places that people can spend their time and take their families and go. Um, and also it's really important for people to form a relationship with their backyard. So it's cool to save things that are far away, like the rainforest and the ocean and things like that. But it's also to build that relationship with something that is in your backyard and this important and close to you. And Duluth is really a unique community in, in the amount of parkland that it has per capita. It rates only second to uh, Portland, Oregon in the nation. Um, which is a huge uh, jewel in the, in the crown of, of the city of Duluth itself. Um, and certainly makes living in Duluth a, a unique and, and more fulfilling uh, experience. It's important for nature centers especially to kind of practice what they preach, being able to model, model for their visitors that model the practices that are environmentally friendly and they're kind of lighter on the land. Also, being able to have a place for school groups and for young children all the way up through adults to kind of gather um, and to take classes is important. We are really grateful to have such a beautiful building. Um, we're grateful to have any space that we can actually work here, but to have it be such a beautiful space that people are drawn to and it really um, works well in nature and it blends well in the woods, um, is real, that's a really nice aesthetic factor too, to have a beautiful space. So again, when this building was designed, it was designed to be that educational piece uh, where people in the community can come and, and, and we still actually today have a, have a class on green building design with college students and so they'll be coming to learn and see um, concrete examples of that green building design and hopefully they can apply it to their own lives and to their careers in the future as well. So a lot of intentionality went into the elements that went in the building. Uh, a majority of the elements are all either recycled material or sustainably harvested materials, local where possible, um, so that each and every piece of it um, exudes that mission of, of the green building design and stewardship for the environment. Um, so it's uh, uh, intentional in, in all of its aspects, uh, down to the screws and nuts and, and bolts and, and nails that were chosen, um, to the types of, of uh, wood that was used, to the materials on the roof, um, to the heating and cooling and lighting systems. Uh, all the designs were very intentional to have a, a very minimal impact on the environment um, and the producing of those materials as well as, as the location of those materials. Uh, 
I am a big proponent for early childhood education. And I think, again, having those authentic experiences, that's how young children learn. And there's something very valuable about being able to have those experiences in nature. The Nature Center itself is a valuable resource uh, because it makes that, the education of that environment accessible, uh, especially to young people, but also to all ages, and so that um, people can have a better connection with the environment and the park around them. What we really want to build is a relationship with nature so that there is care there and there is love there because if they love it, they'll want to continue that into adulthood and they'll want to care about it. One thing that I, th I think we see not only in our youth but um, is happening to um, adults as well is they don't get as much time to get out and connect with the environment and get, get out into nature. And being able to provide your kids with an experience where they're able to have family time out in the woods is very valuable. Well, I have to say, you know, working with um, thousands and thousands of young people every year, um, taking them out and having them experience nature in a different way or a piece of nature in a different way for the first time and seeing that kind of aha moment where they really connect. Um, they really get excited about science or about the environment um, is, is really rewarding. My favorite thing is just taking kids outside and having fun with them and letting things sort of flow, you know, letting them explore, letting them find their own um, interest in nature, their own thing that keeps them coming back. To see and be a part of that experience of that young person becoming um, just uh, more excited uh, about the environment and their community in which they live and, and um, which hopefully leads them to, to take more action to be uh, a part of that community and a part of, of uh, restoring and sustaining that environment uh, down in the future.